Hello. In this demonstration of iPerspective, we're going to show you how you can use iPerspective to generate a RESTful service off of a specific table in, uh, for this demonstration of MySQL database um, that can be used and consumed in an Android application. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, right now we're taking a look at the iPerspective workbench. Um, on the right we have our deployment targets. Um, in this case I am uh, deploying to a JBoss application server. That's where I'll be uh, deploying my services. Um, I've got a list of packages here that contain services that have already been deployed to JBoss. Um, and then you've got your detailed view of uh, your packages over here, including basic information and build history. On the left, I have my databases. You can see I've got a drop down of databases. I've got an Oracle database, a MySQL database. Um, and then below uh, uh, each of the databases are our catalogs. And a catalog is just a real simple way to sort of uh, look inside of a database and find uh, database objects of interest. Uh, we've got a little drop down here where you can select some of the objects you'd like to see, um, and then you can go ahead and fetch those back from uh, the database. And so here we're just looking at Oracle. I think we've got the uh, HR schema. Um, and you can see we've got some tables here, uh, views, and some procedures. Uh, but for this demonstration, we want to use uh, the MySQL database, uh, the Sequila catalog. Uh, actually, no, we want to use test. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and uh, introspect the database. And the specific table we need is the Needaloo table. And taking a look at this table, um, you can see we've got uh, some um, location information, uh, including address, postal code, uh, lat and long. And uh, what this is, is this is a table of uh, handicap accessible um, rest restrooms in uh, the northern UK. So we're going to go ahead and generate a service around this table so that we can expose that up to an Android application. Uh, the first thing we need to do um, for this demonstration is we'll add a package. And this can be the uh, Android demo of REST. Go ahead and add this package. And then we'll go ahead and just drag this table over to the package, drop it on there, which will create our service component. You can see that we've got, we've got a component icon in our uh, package. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at this service. Um, the first thing we need to do is change the configuration. Um, uh, by default, we generate SOAP-based uh, web services. That's just using the SOAP protocol. But for this demonstration, uh, Android really likes RESTful services, and in particular, um, it likes the uh, JSON message type. So default is XML. We're going to go ahead and uh, use JSON. We'll update that. And then we can just come back here to the package and go ahead and synchronize that. And so synchronizing the package uh, basically just uh, compiles the source code and deploys it out to our application server. Uh, and it looks like we're all finished there. Um, and then so we can come down here, click on our service, and you'll see the details change to uh, show us our service detail. And inside that, again, is our configuration. Um, and then now that the service has been uh, built and deployed, we have our endpoint location. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to pull that up. That's just our basic info, which doesn't render very well in Chrome. However, um, we will use our uh, select all statement here, which is really just get uh, uh, all from the table. And we'll pull that back, and you can see we've got our JSON uh, representing all of the uh, rows, the records in that table. For this demonstration, let's go ahead and just pull back a few of those records. So we're going to use the select range, and go ahead and select rows 1 through 20. And you can see that if I update that, we have a much shorter list, uh, which will work a little bit better with this demonstration. So I'm going to grab this URI. Go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to pull up uh, Eclipse really quick, just to show you that this is all live. Um, so this is the uh, Eclipse development environment for Android. We've got our Android application right here, and our main activity that kicks off the application. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. and. Uh, we've got our placeholder for that connect string, so I'm just going to paste it in here. A little bit technical, but I just wanted to show you that it's live, so we'll go ahead and save that. You can see our package here, demo of uh, REST, 
and then I'm going to run this Android application uh, in the uh, Android emulator. So we're running, and that emulator should pop up here in just a minute. There we go. And there we are. And it's pulling up that Needleloot application. And there we go, our Android application running off of our uh, exposing data from our RESTful service. Um, and we've built in some nice little features like viewing the, uh, the, rest, the restroom uh, on Street View. And it's probably somewhere down around here. It's usually just a little bit down the road. I'd imagine it's probably in this building here. So I hope that was uh, a good demonstration of how iPerspective can be used to generate RESTful services that use the JSON message format um, and easily uh, integrate with um, applications like Android. Thanks.